Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to get gadgets back on your desktop like we used to have in Windows Vista and I believe Windows 7. So it's called a Gadget Pack. So it's a free download. Then you just install it and it will have this little gadget sidebar here. And by default it usually adds the clock, weather, and the clipboard manager. And then once you add other gadgets, some of them will have options like let's say this one here for clipboard manager. Or the weather. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see it because you have to find this kind of half gear icon here. So if you want to change the appearance or the font or the measurements, you could do that. Even the clock has some settings, like so. And then you could drag them around with this little three lines here. Or you could close them with the X here. Or if you want to close a particular clipboard object here. So I have three items here in the clipboard. So when I copied these URLs, it actually pasted them in there. So you could just close them off if you don't want a certain one here. And let's say we have some text here. We control C, copy that. And it'll take a minute to kind of refresh the clipboard here. And now we have it in our clipboard. And if you click on this notepad icon, it'll actually take that text from the clipboard tool here and put it in a notepad file. Okay, and then if you want to add more gadgets, we have the gadgets app here, but first we're going to talk about the tools here. So if you want to add a gadget, click on that, which will actually open this. I disable it automatically starting with Windows, make them larger. I have it on the smaller size here. So there's a little bit larger if you like that. I disable the sidebar, enable WinG to access your gadgets. I go to their website or reset everything or even uninstall. All right, so if we open the main gadgets tool here, we can see we have some gadgets available. And if you click on show details, you can see what they do. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It's a little tricky, so we'll do that in a second. But we have some other ones here, you know, for agenda, a calendar with agenda. If you want to use it, you can just drag and drop it over there. And then go to any settings you might want to check out. And like I said, if you don't want it, you could right click on it and close it. Battery meter, app launcher, this one's not too bad. Specific apps there, and if you click on the settings, you could add some other apps by dragging them into the box here. Add some dividers and that kind of thing. So it'll be like a little shortcut, kind of like down here on the taskbar. Layout options and so on. And you'll find some others that are not too helpful like this. This is just kind of like a countdown thing. I don't have the sound on, but it's actually making like a ocean sound in the background too. All right, then you put a calendar. The clipboard is already here. The clock, you have a different clock. A color palette, if you want to add some control panel tools. You do that. Now you can see it takes up more space on the screen, so you have to go back to the previous page. So you wanted the run box, just like that. Close that one out. Control system. So you have your lock and power off and restart options here. Some settings you could check out. You have this countdown, which you want to set a timer for, for a specific event. Like so. A currency converter, CPU meter, and this display sleep if you want to just turn off your screen. You could have a little shortcut to it there, make the screen go black, and then move your mouse and it comes back. All right, let's check out the next page. A drive activity, drive info. It's a little hard to read, but you could go into the settings here and change the background and that type of thing. Change your drive if you want. Network monitor might come in handy. Not much going on there. Another clock, uh, mouse-o-meter. 
This just kind of shows your mouse position. Not sure how helpful that is. A couple other weather apps, network meter, network monitor, a little game there, power status. If you have a laptop, otherwise it's not going to do you any good. Recycle bin. You want to see your recycle bin? You can just double click it to open it. Another reminder, uh, remove your USB drive, search all gadgets, and shut down options there. A slideshow. You could change what folder it's using. Right now it's using the pictures library with 15 seconds. If you want to have a little mini slideshow, you can check that out. Uh, sticky notes. Like so, and then you can just kind of toggle between them. And then check the settings for this as well. You want to change the font and the size and the color. And then, okay, top five. So this shows you the top five processes going on your computer. You can change that to memory, refresh interval, and so on. Uh, turn off PC, you got a unit converter and another volume control. Alright, so let's go back to this first one here. So, seven sidebar. You could also right click on these and add them. So, this makes another sidebar. So, if you want to have two sidebars, it takes up a little room here. You could also put it on the left. So, now Let's say we dragged some gadgets here. You could have stuff on this side as well. And this will have multiple pages here. You could add gadgets from here as well. So on this one, when you go to the options here, you could have it be always on top. Change it to a different monitor. Show an icon in the taskbar. Set the width if you want to make it wider or narrower. You'd have it be transparent if you want. Oh, there's different skins as well. Align the gadgets, top, center, or bottom. And some information about it. So this one might be a good one if you want to use the transparency feature. And you can kind of drag them around your desktop too. You want to do that. All right, and also if you right click, you have a window manager. If you want to put that here, this shows what you have open. You can kind of toggle through, kind of like an alt tab type of thing. And you could also open the tools from here, hide everything, and so on. So when it comes to additional gadgets, I don't know if you could actually get some more if they're going to make them, because if you go to their website, it just kind of shows the gadgets that are here and then who made them. So it might be getting updated, you know, every once in a while as well. All right, so that is how Gadget Pack works. So you may or may not find this useful. So I'll put a link in the description where you could download it and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.